So today I'm going to show you how I transform a room from this to this and this to this. The method I use in this video is something I do when I'm so overwhelmed with the state of the house I just do not know where to start. So first I'm going to show you around and show you what we're dealing with. Basically the house is absolutely trash from top to bottom and I just can't even explain how it's got this bad so quickly. If you've been following me for a while you know that I'm constantly trying to keep on top of things but a lot of the time I'm just not able to. And instead of beating myself up about it and getting annoyed that I've let it get the bad again I have tips and tricks that I use that help me get it done in the fastest most efficient way possible. And yeah I thought I'd share that with you today. I know being transparent about the messes that happen in my house will bring me a lot of hate because, well, some people just don't understand how it gets like this. But I make these videos to help people like me know that they're not alone and that big messes aren't as overwhelming as they might seem. And if that means opening myself up to a bit of hate, then I'm fine with that. So yeah, grab yourself a drink and get comfy or get your cleaning hat on and you can clean along and have me on in the background. So the first thing I do when I'm dealing with a big whole house mess like this is I write a list of things that need to be done in order of priority. So here the top of my list is clothes and then next is rubbish. Sometimes I'll write the list for one room and get one room done and then move on to the next. But on this occasion I was just so overwhelmed I wanted to get the top priority things done throughout the house so that if something cropped up or I couldn't do any more I'd know that each room was done a little bit. And you'll see as I go along and I get things completed and things crossed off the list, I'll think about what's next in terms of priority and I'll add things on. I just find this way more helpful when you're dealing with overwhelm. Because in the mood I was in when I was filming this video, if I'd have written a full list, I'd have just thought, I, I can't do this. But as you go along and then you cross things off and you add things on, you start to feel really motivated. And like, yes, I am going to get this done today and I'm going to get it done fast. This does not have to take me all day. So Charlie had taken Ike out to his mum's and Rudy was at school and I had about two hours to get this done. And I know you're probably thinking two hours is still a long time to be cleaning in one go. But about a year ago, a task like this would have taken me all day and so two hours is nothing in comparison. And to be honest, I find it quite therapeutic. I like to put motivational YouTube videos on or podcasts on in the background. At the minute, I absolutely love listening to people's success stories or videos about mindset because I see it as an opportunity to learn and grow as a person whilst also completing these mundane tasks. So yeah, these big cleans where Charlie takes the boys out are actually quite a positive experience for me now. In the past, tidying and cleaning was a hideous experience for me. Growing up messy, my room had looked like a bomb had gone off regularly. And throughout my life and well into my 20s, I always associated cleaning with stress and guilt and ultimately a wasted day. Because in my head, there were so many other more important and more fulfilling things I could have been doing with my time. But the thing is, these daily responsibilities, they aren't going anywhere, are they? So to be able to shift my perspective on it and turn it into something that gives me peace and brings me joy, it was vital. And it's been life changing. Although I do realise that every parent isn't in the privileged position that I'm in, where they can have someone that will take the kids out and occupy them while you get it done. So yeah, I'm very fortunate in that respect. Anyway, the clothes were top of my priority list because they were everywhere, all over the house, all up the stairs, and it was really getting to me. And they were really making up the bulk of the mess, it just made it look ten times worse. I just have such a block when it comes to sorting and putting away clothes. I'm fine with washing them, but when it comes to sorting and folding them and putting them where they need to be, I'm just terrible. And then they end up on the floor and piled up and there becomes an overwhelming amount of them and a problem that didn't need to be a problem in the first place. So right now there's too many clothes to fit in the washing basket so I'm putting these in a black bag. So I'm going to wash the things in the black bag first and then hopefully we'll be able to get on top of it a little bit. That's the hope anyway but I'm me so we'll see what happens. Like I said there's no point getting wound up and beating myself up about things that have already happened. I'm just focusing on getting it done and working on habits and routines that stop it from happening again in the future. But as I say in a lot of my videos, I'm a work in progress, as are we all. So now I've crossed clothes off the list, I've added on the next thing in terms of priority, which is toys. And now it's time to start working on the rubbish, and the absolutely ridiculous amount of cans that are scattered everywhere through the house. God knows what the bin men must think of us, honestly. I know it's terrible, but I drink so much Coke and Pepsi because I need the caffeine and I don't like coffee. I don't have any other vices though, I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke, just let me have the pop. 
I am working on gradually reducing the amount I drink though because I know type 2 diabetes is after me. I would switch to the zero sugar versions but I absolutely hate the way they taste and artificial sweeteners come with their own set of health problems. So I'm just cleaning the washing tub to take it upstairs so I can fill it with cans. It's just easier. I had a message the other day asking when I was posting a new video and like I say in all of my videos it takes me so long to do these voiceovers. I would love to be able to post more frequently, but right now while my kids are so young and I've got so much else going on, I post as and when I can. But I try to get a lot of shorts out for you as little bursts of motivation, because they're easier to do with the limited time I have. So yeah, you'll just have to bear with me on the longer form videos. I have had such a stressful week this week. My eldest Rudy, he's just turned seven, and because of Covid he's just had his first ever birthday party. And oh my goodness, I had no idea how stressful planning a child's birthday party is. Everything from the cost, making sure everyone's RSVP'd and children are actually going to end up coming. One of his friends has an allergy, so I was making sure that all the ingredients were okay. Honestly, I was having anxiety dreams. I wasn't even sleeping. But he ended up having a fantastic day and that's all that matters. So yeah, we're just getting back to a bit of normality now and I can carry on with my voiceovers. And as I was getting through the rubbish down here, I was already noticing such a difference and there was such a feeling of relief. I think there's a misconception when you're a messy person that you don't mind the mess. And I can't speak for everybody, but I'm sure a lot of people feel the same as me. I do mind it. I'd prefer the house to be nice and tidy. I just struggle with keeping it that way. And it's not even because I have kids. I was like this before. Obviously, living with children makes it a lot harder. But my issue is executive dysfunction. And a lot of people deal with this without even realising what it is. So many people with executive dysfunction struggle initiating tasks. So even when we desperately want to get something done, we feel paralysed and don't know how to start. And there's also an issue with prioritising tasks and time efficiency. And that's why I find this method so beneficial, because it helps give some order to the chaos. Obviously, everybody's different and what works for me might not work for you. But I'm hoping there are at least a few people who massively benefit from this video. After learning all these things about myself and accepting them and then implementing tips and tricks along the way, where I would have found a task impossible before, I know that I can do it now. And although I've massively improved at stopping messes like this happen in the first place a lot of the time, when they do happen, I know sorting it is easily done. I've become so much more accepting of myself these days. I think a lot of us messy and disorganised people or folk with ADHD or autism carry a lot of built-in guilt surrounding the fact that we can't carry out normal daily tasks like other people and that things that were supposed to come easily didn't to us. Letting go of that guilt and disappointment is hard but as long as you're trying to fight against your own nature it's just going to be all the more difficult for you because you're still trying to cram yourself into a mould that doesn't fit you. You've got to work with your personality traits and find things that work for you and also people who love you for you. Life becomes lighter that way, I promise you. So now we're just working on getting the toys back to their proper homes. And I was talking over the bit where I showed you what I'd added next to the list. So if you didn't see that, next on the list is pots. And it's bringing pots downstairs and washing everything. And there are so many pots to be washed. And look, the stairs are nearly clean. Having clear stairs is my favourite, but it never lasts longer than a day. A lot of people have suggested I get a stair basket. And I am planning on getting one when I've got the funds. But as I said earlier, it's been an expensive month this month. We don't have a lot of expendable cash. And if you're not living in the UK at the moment, there's a massive cost of living crisis. So we're all struggling and stressed at the minute. Anyway, let's vote more wisely at the next general election, eh? And now we've got toys crossed off and I've added on empty the bins. And it's time to start working on the massive pile of pots. So I realised because there were so many pots, I was going to have to keep coming back. Letting some dry, going off and crossing something else off the list and then coming back. But luckily, pots was the only thing on the list that I'd have to do that with. I haven't got a dishwasher and I don't want one in this kitchen because there's no room for it. I'd have to end up putting it somewhere ridiculous and it'd really upset me. So while we're in this house, although it takes me longer, I'm happy to wash things by hand. And I know people are really well-meaning when they suggest things like getting a dishwasher. But when I say I have no money for it, I have no money for it. We really are living paycheck to paycheck right now. And what little money we do have extra is for emergencies. So even things as simple as having a dishwasher, that's a luxury for us that we can't afford right now. And I'd much rather spend the money on clubs for my son, like piano lessons and swimming lessons, and things that enrich his life and open up opportunities for his future. So yeah, I'm determined that one day we're not going to be in this situation. 
But right now I'm just focusing on making the most of what we do have. And there are far worse things in life than having to wash your pots by hand. And now I'm just going to put the next load of pots in the sink to soak while the first lot dry. And then I'm going to head upstairs and bring all the pots from the bedroom down. There wasn't that much to take down today, so that's good. There's usually loads. And I didn't get to fully cross off pots from the list because obviously I've got to go back to do more washing up. And then I added on Hoover into the end of the list. And that made me very happy because it meant that the picking up and tidying was over. For those of you that don't know me, I love cleaning, but I'm not the biggest fan of tidying. And I had to do a little dance here to get the bin out because it was wedged in because it was so heavy. Anyway, I always like to take some time out in my longer videos to give my thanks to people who are supporting me here on my little channel. I've started to recognise some people are coming back to watch every video and commenting every single time and I just want to say thank you. It honestly means so much to me that you're enjoying the videos. And I hope I can continue to put out videos that you enjoy and videos that motivate you. And I have loads of ideas and lots of projects coming up. So hopefully I'll have some good stuff posted in the next few months. And yeah, just thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me so far. And that's bins crossed off. And now I've just added on bedroom for like a general tidy. At this point I knew Charlie was coming back in about an hour or so. So I knew there'd only be a few more things, maybe one more thing I'd be able to add to the end of the list now. But I'd already got so much done and I was so chuffed. It really is amazing to see how fast such a messy space can be transformed when you have a plan in place. And like I said earlier, if I'd have attempted this without my list or without putting things in order of priority, it would have taken me all day. So yeah, it really is about putting the tools in place to set you up for success. I've struggled with procrastination my entire life and I get distracted very, very easily. Sometimes I'll start one project or one thing, get distracted by something else and suddenly I'm doing something completely different. It happens a lot of the time when I'm trying to like reorganise cupboards or things like that. I'll end up finding old birthday cards that I've saved and read all the messages and then maybe I'll get sidetracked into looking at old photos because I've been reminded by the messages on the cards. And then before you know it, I'm an hour into building a photo album on Snapfish. I go off on a million tangents. And so when I'm doing tasks like this, it's important to me to try and be a little bit disciplined. Otherwise, I just end up wasting my time and making more mess than I originally started with. But anyway, if you notice I sound a little different right now, it's because I've had to stop recording and start again a week later. And yet again, I have a cold. I pick up so many bugs these days. Having one school-aged child, one toddler and then working in a supermarket, I'm exposed to absolutely everything. And since lockdown, the bugs seem to be so much stronger. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that, but our house has been getting double the amount of bugs that we usually get. And that's the hoovering finished and I'm going back to the pots. But yeah, it's so frustrating because I've been on a bit of a health kick. I've been doing a lot of walking and keeping up with bodyweight exercises and obviously now I'm poorly, all of that's had to be put on the back burner. And I'd gotten into a really good rhythm with it and now I feel like, ugh, it's going to be hard to get back into it. Do you know what I mean? And it had been doing absolute wonders for my mental health. That, alongside a few other things, like I'd been taking supplements like ashwagandha and lion's mane. I think I mentioned that in another video. But I've been having really low moods at certain points in my cycle. And ashwagandha is meant to really help with regulating hormones. And since having kids and having such a hectic lifestyle, I have so much brain fog. And lion's mane's meant to really help with that. And since making that video, I've also added in probiotics because there's a massive link between gut health and mental health. So yeah, all of those things combined, I've really seen a massive improvement. I've noticed that my stress and anxiety levels are a lot lower. I find myself getting less overwhelmed with tasks. My mindset's improved as well. Do you know when you're a kid and you just had that sense of contentment and joy? I keep getting bursts and waves of that now. And it's so lovely because I wondered whether I'd ever feel like that again, to be honest. I thought maybe this is just how adults feel. And that didn't sit right with me at all. Because we're only here for a short time, so why shouldn't we feel joy all the time? I don't want to be stressed and low for the rest of my life and just accept that that's the way it is now. No. So yeah, I'm always looking to implement habits and things like supplements and exercises that are going to improve my health and mindset overall. But I have to do it in a way that's sustainable for me and easy to add into my busy routine. I'm naturally a very all or nothing person. I'm sure a lot of other people can relate to this. But say I was looking to improve my diet. In the past, I would have made these drastic and ridiculous changes that would have completely upheaved my lifestyle. Because I'd go into it thinking, well, there's no point half arse in this. And then I'd last about three days because it was ridiculous and unsustainable. 
and then I'd feel horrible about myself and like I could never see anything through. So this time I'm not looking at it as a race and something that needs to be done all at the same time. I'm seeing it as a more gradual process. Like with the amount of coke I drink, I'm going to phase it out bit by bit rather than go cold turkey. Because I've tried cold turkey in the past and it just makes me miserable. Trigger warning here because I'm going to start talking about weight and eating. But I'm really hoping this year to get back to a healthier weight. I put on a lot of weight in my pregnancy with Ike and it's really noticeable in terms of my health and how much I can do and how much I can move, even in my energy levels. And now I've finished the bedroom, I've added on living room because I've still got an extra bit of time. And we're on to the final round of pots. But as I was saying, my one-year-old Ike is such a terrible sleeper, so I'm always sleep deprived. And when I'm sleep deprived, I like to comfort eat. And I'm not going to lie to you, I have been eating so much crap. And I graze all throughout the day, or I had been doing. And instead of completely cutting out all of the bad foods, what I've done instead is decide to time my meals. And I've also reduced my portion sizes a little bit. That way it's not so drastic and upsetting and I can still eat my comfort foods. But it just stops me eating 24-7 and eating when I'm not hungry. So yeah, I just have set meal times now. So I'll have breakfast with the kids. Then I'll try and keep myself really busy until lunchtime, about 11-12. And then I won't eat again until after I've picked Rudy up from school. So we eat dinner around four or five-ish. And I'm not restricting anything. I'm eating what I want to. I'm not eating tiny portions or starving myself. I'm just being a little bit disciplined. And honestly, the effect that's having on my mindset is incredible. I feel accomplished and proud of myself. And I don't feel sluggish and tired all the time anymore. Don't get me wrong, we've still got a long way to go. But I definitely feel like I'm on the right track. So yeah, I just need to get over this blooming cold again now. Because I'm itching to get my body moving again, but honestly, I feel so weak. And now I've finally finished the pots, I've added on kitchen as well. And now we're going to get the living room looking lovely. But yeah, I knew I was coming down with something the other day because I was doing the hoovering and it actually pained me to move my arms. I felt like I had weights attached to them. All I wanted to do was just lie down. I've had a fever. I felt like I wasn't on the planet while I was at work the other day. And yeah, it just seems like everyone's getting endless bugs in this house at the minute. But I try to look at it as my kids are building up their immune systems. And we're finally on to the final room of the video. And I really didn't expect to get this much done. But like I said earlier, it just goes to show that it doesn't have to take you all day. You can put a big dent in the mess if you find a way of doing it that works for you. And I really hope this video will have helped a lot of people. Even if my method might seem silly or might not work for you. Maybe just watching me tackle the space gave you the boost you needed. I know watching these kind of videos really helps me. And I know I ramble on a lot and it's not everybody's cup of tea. But if you've stuck with me this far into the video, I really, really appreciate you. It honestly means the world. I have another video in a similar vein as this. If the list thing didn't work for you. And it's all about how I tackle a messy space using timers. So if you think that might be more up your alley... It's titled 60 Minute House Clean Challenge. And in that video, I did the whole house in 60 minutes. It's a bit different to this one, but it might work better for you. And I'm also going to add other methods that work for me, depending on my mood or what point I'm in in my life. And I'll be posting those in the future. So I'm sure we'll find something that works for you. And I'll just take you on a tour of the house now. It's finished. I don't mean to sound boasty, but I amaze myself with what I can actually do once I put my mind to something. I might not be able to stop the house getting messy, but I do a fantastic job of clearing it if I do say so myself. Gotta big yourself up sometimes, haven't you? And I just thought I'd let you know that my next video coming up, I am tackling the boys' room and it is a good one. You'll notice I stayed away from it in this video and that's because it needed an entire video by itself. So yeah, if that's something you'd be interested in, that will be coming up really soon. We're going to do a massive declutter, get rid of loads of toys and clothes to donate and we're going to clean the room because it needs a deep clean as well. And yeah, there we are. As always, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.